you are a hairy person, it hurts to Hey Camden, George here. Yep, back in the man cave and I wanted to go through another one of the items on the 10 cc's list. It's way down on the list, it's actually number 9 and that is cargo tape. Now they say cargo tape because it, I think mainly because it serves to make up a C in the list and they needed to have this tape on there. Now there's all sorts of names for it some people will call it cargo tape, some people call it 100 mile an hour tape, duct tape, gorilla tape, this. There's all different kinds, all different sizes, strengths, makes, models, you name it. There's a bunch of it. Generally, most people will just buy some regular roll, uh, fairly inexpensive duct tape. You can see in there the label says duct tape in there. Typically, it's this color. Gorilla tape you can get in different colors. I just happen to have black. No particular reason. Gorilla tape picked it up, threw it in the shopping basket. What can I say? I uh, wasn't really thinking about the color. I do have this and same thing again. The difference is, is this is a nice bright orange. But really duct tape, gorilla tape, cargo tape, whatever you want to call it, is a handy thing to have. It can be used for multiple things, and I'm big on that. If you can have one item that covers a wide range of uses for your survivability, that's a good thing. It means you have to carry less. For most people, they don't really look at it. You see a lot of, uh, for example, uh, in my possible one of my, one of my possible pouches, I have just a rolled up piece of duct tape. This is about, I'm going to say about three feet. And as you can see, it doesn't take up very much room. And you can just throw it in your bag and it doesn't take up any room in the bag. Another popular way, and this is kind of hard to see, you can see I've wrapped around a lighter some Gorilla Tape, the black, which makes it hard to see on the black lighter. And, you know, that's part of my possibles pouch. So there are many uses for it. Although it's way down on the list at number nine, it's not part of the important one to five, but still it's important. The uses for it, just go online and put in uses for duct tape. <laughs> There's thousands of things people have come up with. For me, and typically I'm pretty sure most people that are out camping, wandering around lost in the outdoors, there's certain uses we can use it for. Probably the most popular would be band-aid, holes, cuts, tears, that sort of thing in your tent, your top, your clothing, band-aid out. Of it. If you're going to do that, you don't want to take a piece of it like this, take it off and stick it over your wound. It's, let's say you've cut yourself, you don't want to just stick it over there. If you don't have any cotton or anything like that, you can take, cut a piece off your t-shirt or the shirt that you're wearing or your pants or whatever and lay it on there inside. Just like you would have on a band-aid where you have that little patch of absorbent and then put it over. I can tell you that if you are a hairy person, it hurts to take off. It works that well. So that's one you. When, you. when you're fixing a tear or a hole or something in your top or your tent, most people would just put a, a piece over it and that's it. What you need to do is, let's say you have a hole you want to take two pieces, one on the outside, one on the inside, and that really seals it well. Most duct tape or cargo tape, whatever you want to call it, is waterproof. It works pretty well. It's not going to last forever, but it does last a long time. A little word of advice, don't just throw it on the ground and leave it there. Take it home and get rid of it properly. Put it into the, you know, the trash system who will take care of it, because this stuff don't go anywhere. <laughs> That's to repair, say, your tent or your top. You want to put it on both sides and it seals it really well. The other thing people do, and I've got this small piece here I just wanted to show you, is that you can use it to make a very basic, fairly strong string, rope, whatever you want to call it, by tearing it into strips. Ideally, you're going to want to cut it. 
So now you've got this piece here. Obviously, it'll be a longer piece because I want to use it to tie. And what you're going to do is double it over like that. Just squeeze it together. And now you've got a, a fairly strong string that you can use. Maybe tie up your shelter. The problem that I see for most people is they only have this much. I would try and pack maybe a couple of these and make it about, I'm going to say, a minimum of a foot long. You don't want anything less than that because it's not really handy enough to cut into strips, make a fairly long piece of string. However, you can join it. it sticks together, it actually does join fairly well. So now I've got another piece here, and all I'm going to do is just overlap it like that and fold it over just to make a longer piece pretty strong joint right there if you only have short pieces you can make long pieces out of it very handy to have I showed you this earlier on and that is this reflective tape tear it up and make X's or a cross or something like that put it on the top of your hat people who are looking for you if you're lost this will really stand out signaling device they'll put a strip on the side of the armband here and if you have the reflective stuff, it does stand out at night. Especially somebody shining a torch, it will reflect back. Sorry, not a torch, a flashlight, you foreigner, George. For me, it's a first aid repair my kit stuff and make an emergency rope or string should I need it. Why it is so far down, I'm not sure because it is a multitasker. And, it, you know, for me, medical reason, it's a great thing to have. Not just for covering a cut or a slash or or whatever but you can make a sling out of it break a leg or something and you need to make a splint and wrap your tape around to hold it in place works great just wanted to make sure that you do have some in your kit anyway don't forget like share and subscribe you know the story pretty sure i'll be back with the rest of the list there's 10 of them just saying Thanks for watching. Bye.